suey. The hog call you'll hear statewide come tomorrow night as fans cheer on the hogs. Now while the hogs are preparing to play in Indianapolis, fans here at home are gearing up, literally. It's a great time to be a Razorback. Although it's been a rough year to be a store owner, Hogman Superstore owner Steve Jenkins says it's been a great year to be a hog fan. It's exciting. It's fun. And because of the hog success this season, he says business has really picked up. So far, top sale items are still the usual shirts and caps, but team face masks have also been a big hit. But as the Sweet 16 continues, Jenkins tells us that they're preparing for a win when it comes to getting in new merchandise. So we were in business doing national championship merchandise in 1994. And then the following year when we went to the championship game, but unfortunately uh, was, was defeated. So we are, we're quite familiar with how to handle this, how to do it. And like Jenkins, diehard Razorback fan Grant Smith is hoping for a 1994 outcome. We haven't really had a team that's been this good since then. And so everybody's super stoked. So stoked that fans like Grant have been in Indianapolis since the tournament began. I'm not going to miss a game as long as we're in this run. I want to feel like I've had some kind of impact in, in the run we're making too. And even with limited seating and a spread out arena, Grant tells us the experience has been nothing short of hog wild. Hog fans were rowdy. It was still a lot of fun. Um, there's a lot of excitement in the arena. Excitement that fans in Indy are planning to carry into tomorrow's game. I expect us to win. I hope that we do. So whether you're in the bleachers or on the couch, there's one thing we'll all have in common come tomorrow night. We'll be cheering on those Razorbacks. Calling the hogs where you live. Tiffany Lee, 5 News.